Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick recap of the Philadelphia Phillies series sweep. They swept them right out of Citizens Bank Park over those Milwaukee Brewers. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and also subscribe to the Don himself, Steel Flyers, as I do a bunch of stuff for that site as well. So please subscribe over there to the Steel Flyers YouTube page and here to Sports Fan News. Let's get right into it though. Unfortunately, uh, in the first game, it did not start off early very good for the Phillies, but then went all good from there. Lorenzo Kane was able to, in the top of the first, coming back from his injury, be able to hit a home run. But then all's well after that, where JT Romito puts the Phillies up, hitting a home run of his own. And then Roman Quinn was actually able to triple prior to getting his most recent injury here. He was actually having a couple good games. Unfortunately, he got injured when he did. But was able to triple, which scored Odubel Herrera. And then Velasquez helped himself out, not with a hit, but was able to ground out, which scored Roman Quinn, aforementioned Roman Quinn. So this game, uh, they, they started with a bad pitch by Velasquez to get Kane hit a home run, but then he pitched a tremendous game. This was the best game we saw Vince Velasquez pitch in a long time. He pitched six innings, only four hits, six strikeouts, only gave up that one home run to Lorenzo Kane. And even with Yelich out, this Brewers lineup, uh, they just came off of beating the Dodgers, and Yelich actually played in that game and still went two for four and did really well. So <clears throat> I think uh, Vince really in this game actually just pitched his best, honed it in, and if you can see any microcosm of this version of Vince Velasquez, the Phillies would be in great shape because you got Eflin, you got Wheeler, you got Noah. If you could get anything out of the bottom two, that would be very helpful. If you could see anything like this, even through like five innings just consistently rather than coming out of the fourth five inning, that would be huge. So clearly JT Romuto for setting the stage there, being able to hit that uh, leading hit there to get them going after giving up that one in the first will be a star of this game. And then, of course, you got to give it to Vince Velasquez, but also for the first game, you got to give it to Hector Nearest because Connor Brogdon came in in the eighth and made it a little hazy there until Hector Nearest actually came in and pitched one and a third in, or one and two thirds innings, excuse me, in order to pick up the save. So he was really the MVP. I would give uh, Vince Velasquez for how well he actually pitched that game, the first start of the game, Hector the second, and then JT the third for really setting the table after that low cane home run. And that was a one run victory, of course, again, as the Phillies played a bunch of one run games in a row. And then another one run victory. On the Tuesday, May 4th game that the Phillies were able to take 6-5. to five. That Aaron Noel was able to pitch really good through 6 himself. Uh, 2 walks, 10 strikeouts. Uh, really had the strikeout pitch going. And then David Hale came in and really struggled in this game. Gave up 3 runs. Uh, Jojo Romero, who's been struggling, is now is on the injured list. So we found out why he was struggling. Um, came in and gave up a run here. And then the savior of the day for this game was Sam Coonrod, just like Nearest came in and settled down everything. One and two-thirds innings, he was really, other than Aaron Nola, who battled to pitch a great six innings, battling through it. Uh, he and Nola, again, the two pitchers were the stars of this game. Coonrod picking up one and two-third innings save, which is huge for this team to be able to get that. And then I would say the third star of this game, just because McCutcheon was able to have two homers, his swing is really coming out. He really started to kind of get it going in this series, it looks like, which would be huge if he can take that into Atlanta as well. I would throw it to Andrew McCutcheon for this game because it's pivotal that he continues to keep get going and going forward. So we have two wins, two one-run one wins that the bullpen made interesting at the end, excuse me, so definitely stressful way to win, but two wins in a four-game series, so sitting pretty to take the series at this point. You got the Phillies won the first game 4-3 to three again, led by a good pitching outing of Vince Velasquez, and then the second game led by a great pitching outing of Aaron Nola, 6-5. to five. In the third game that they won on Wednesday, May 5th this past week, the Phillies were able to win 5-4, to four. This game was, of course, won by Brandon Kinster, who's now 2-1 and one on the season, but started by Chase Anderson, who was unfortunately only able to go four and a third innings, gave up three runs, was not able to get through that fifth inning there. You could tell that stressed him out. Romero, again, struggled in this one, gave up a run. Kinsler came in, pitched really well through an inning and a third. Matt Moore came in and looked really good out of the bullpen. That was great to see in this game. Honestly, with how good uh, him and Kinsler looked in this game, I would throw those two because kinsler has been pretty um, solid other than uh, a couple outings is why he has a 6.97. That just happens when you're a relief pitcher. You have a high ERA if you have a couple bugaboo outing. Has actually been pretty good. That's a little deceiving. He's usually been the settle guy, and he came in and settled it down in this game. Then Matt Moore, I would have to almost give for coming in and pitching really well in this game. A star of the game, I would say, is almost just the bullpen in this game other than JoJo was able to really settle it down. 
um, after Chase Anderson came out. So the star of this game was the bullpen. You had Kimster come in, pitch one and a third really well. You had Moore come in, pitch tremendously out of the bullpen. We'll see if he stays there or comes back in the rotation in the future. De Los Santos, a former starter, has his fastball churning a little bit more um, as a reliever, so he actually looked really good in his one inning of work. And then Jose Alvarado, you have all different people that got a save. That just goes to show how much better suited this Phillies bullpen is this year compared to last year. Three different people with the saves in this series to now have the Phillies be up 3-0 to at this point, led by a great bullpen game and also a fantastic game by Didi Gregorius, who in the first inning was able to hit that grand slam, which really put the Phillies over the top, because of course in this game, they forgot how to score after the first inning. So you got to keep scoring, but due to the great play by the bullpen, who's the star of the game in this game, and then Didi Gregorius, they were able to overcome this game and win. So that was big in this game. They couldn't score since the first, but still were able to win great due to a great bullpen performance. Then the final game, I mean, it, it's obvious who the star of the series sweeping game was. That was Zach Wheeler. The man pitched a complete game shutout. He was a menace there. The Phillies broke another mic for NBC Sports post game, trying to do the interview when they poured the uh, Gatorade shower on him there. So it's obvious that this one, Zach Wheeler, hats off to him, uh, hands down, one of his best games of his career. And then Alec Boom, as Michael Borkin would say, Boom, Alec Boom. Um, he homered um, on an opposite field uh, homer as well, which is great to see where he's a guy that's been getting gypped this year. Um, I don't agree with everything Joe says sometimes when it comes to being overly positive about guys, but with Boehm I do uh, because he's been hitting the ball. His contact <clears throat> rate and his hard contact rate are ridiculous, and he just falls into outs all the time. So it's nice to see him get going. You were able to have Reese double in this game as well. That was able to score McCutcheon, who was able to get on base again, again, having a good series. So it's good to be able to get the insurance run there in the bottom of the eighth due to Reese Hoskins to be able to help push Riller over the hump as he allowed a couple people on base. It would have been interesting if we were only up by one if Girardi would have had the same mindset there at the end compared to being up by two. Um, but it would have been interesting to see. But I think Wheeler, I think Girardi made the right decision to keep him in. I think that was him just going out there in the ninth as a former catcher and really just saying, like, like just checking up on him, like he said. Um, but this was a great series. The Phillies were able to have all different people come in and get the saves in the first three. You got Hector pitched one and two-thirds in the first game to really be an MVP of that game. Coonrod pitched one and two-thirds in the second game to really be an MVP of that game. In the third game, since Chase Anderson could only go four and, a, four and a third, the bullpen was really an MVP of that game. No matter who was in where, Jose Alvarado was able to pick up the save in that game. And both Matt Moore and Enlo De Los Santos pitched very well out of the bullpen, which was very good to see. And then in the final game, no one picked up the save. Unless if you can also get a save, will be a cool stat to add. If you pitch a complete game, that is within two to three runs as a starter. But that's not the way it is right now. So Zach Wheeler pitched a complete game and was able to get the complete game shutout, only giving up... <clears throat> In this game, in the final game of the series, I believe it was three hits. Yes, three hits for Zach Wheeler to bring his ERA down to a 2.83 and eight strikeouts. I hope you all enjoyed this Phillies versus Milwaukee Bureau sweeping them out of Citizens Bank Park. Continue to ring that bell and bring that ring the bell sweeping energy down to Atlanta as I'm going to preview that series soon. I'm waiting to see if Andrew's going to join me for that one, so stay tuned for that. There's going to preview the series starting at 7.20 p.m. tonight. In Atlanta, that is a three-game series. 7.20 tonight, 7.20 tomorrow, and then 7.08 p.m. on Sunday in Atlanta when the Phillies then have the next off day on Monday. So stay tuned for that preview. I hope you all enjoyed the series sweep out of CBP of the Milwaukee Brewers who were coming in hot after beating the Dodgers. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy some Phillies baseball. And for my fellow hockey fans and Sixers fans as well, enjoy the great run to the NBA playoffs and the round out of the season and the Cam York debut of for the Philadelphia Flyers as well. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. And again, please like, comment, and subscribe here and at Steel Flyers as well. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.